A grandfather's love for his granddaughters can be seen throughout the colorful pages of his books, Going for a Walk with Papa. We'd like to welcome back children's book author Kenneth Francis, who joins us with details about his newest release. It's great to have you back. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. And congratulations on this latest book. This makes how many now? This is the fourth book. The fourth book. Right. And you just, you woke up one day and you had the inspiration to write children's books because of your granddaughters. Tell us, uh, remind us what that well, experience again, is like. The most important thing to me is family and uh, being around the granddaughters in particular, um, we didn't really get to see them that often, okay? But now that I've been retired and they're living closer, we're gonna see them a lot more. So I just uh, had the idea to write stories about our times together. And I think it's very important for all families, uh, the children, the parents, the grandparents and great grandparents to do whatever they can together, reading books and or going on walks and doing different things. So this is basically what uh, the stories are about. And I'm, I'm hoping that the you know, the people who read them will enjoy them. Yes, and they, they certainly do. So this is really a love letter to your granddaughters, but it's going to have an educational twist in the future. You're still writing new books. You're actually coming out with two more pretty soon. Yes, uh, the two that I'm working on right now that it'll take probably another year to uh, finish them all, but it's uh, the pool story and the uh, beach story. So and I think it's important, you know, just to do things together like that. Yeah. Now, the other ones that I've written that I'll be working on in the future will be more educational. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is that uh, they're about colors, they're about letters, uh, they're about um, days in the week, um, hours in the day, months in the year, things like that. So if you sit down with your child or if you're reading a book, they can learn things at the same time about the different months of a year, as an example, in, or uh, in hours in a day. Yeah, it's so. invaluable, invaluable stuff to, for yeah. kids to learn. Uh, tell people about your previous life. You were not always a children's book author. No, I had worked for a major insurance company uh, for over 40 years and just retired uh, about six years ago and celebrated on the 31st my uh, 50th anniversary. Yes. Uh, and. Uh, you know, I miss the people that I work with, obviously, and uh, I just posted something on LinkedIn where I still coordinate with a lot of the business people, yes. and I've gotten a really good response on it. So yeah. I thank everybody for remembering me yeah. from that standpoint. <laughs> After 40 plus years, I should certainly <laughs> hope so. Otherwise, you got a pretty short memory. You're also going to be celebrating another 50-year mark, half-century mark. Yes, uh, my wife Diane and I will be married in November for 50 years and we'll be at the same time celebrating her birthday. And you got married on her birthday. On her birthday, yes. <laughs> That's a wonderful double yeah. whammy of a celebration. Yeah, and as she says, uh, I'm on a annual renewal basis. <laughs> So uh, I guess in November, I'll know if it's going to continue. She sounds like a smart lady. I think I need to interview her next. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, but 50 years. So you, when you say that you are a family man, you really truly are. Family is extremely important to you. After 50 years, it certainly demonstrates that. Of course, to Diane's credit, yes, she is too. Definitely, definitely. So What's the secret to your success? Me, yes. uh, I, th I think um, I traveled a lot in the business world, obviously. So. I'd be gone for a few days and then come back. So that was very trying on everyone, including our, our two boys, um, who are, you know, Ryan is the oldest one and he's the one that has my two granddaughters. And we lost our youngest son about three years ago. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear uh, that. So um, we're all still coping with that. But uh, I think family is very important, as I've said many times, and this is just a little piece of giving back to that it might help other families to cope with things that they experience, but enjoy enjoy life as long as you can. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to end on that note. I think that's a profound and wonderful way to uh, tie this up. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you very much. And congratulations. I can't wait to see those next books come out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're back after this.